All right, uh, welcome to Learn to Jihad with William Jamin, and let's continue our traditional art journey. And today I'm going to talk about the uh, perspective. And uh, this is the topic that I've been struggling a lot. And um, um, recently, I think I yeah, get the hang of it. So um, once I get a hang of it, I think it's just a really easy, it's just a simple mathematic and simple, uh, like, a, like a way of solving a specific problem. So if you're not treating this as a art problem but rather as a mathematical problem and you just remember some of the like a formula and you can do it right so uh, basically perspective um be composed for just a one two or three um yeah point perspective so, so basically it's so like self-explanatory different point per perspective involve just a one or two or three vanishing point so vanish point is just uh, you know if you draw something uh, i just draw a um, vanish point here and just uh, let me just start with one point perspective as an example. So if you, you draw a cube, okay? So if you draw a cube something like this, it will not work. Uh, so if you are drawing that from a um, like a orthographic point of view, so this and this like a parallel, this is a parallel, and maybe this and this is parallel, something like that, and this is a parallel, this is a parallel, okay? And you got some like let's let's draw from uh, the unseen part okay if all that's parallel and uh it, it will normally not work and uh, you you have a really bad drawing that is because you're not draw not drawing from a perspective um this is called author orthographic point of view so if you're using blender or watch my other tutorial you will know okay so blender we can toggle that uh, we have a certain icon like this and you can toggle it okay but uh, what about that we are uh, drawing from perspective? So perspective, we call a specific point, we, we, we call that a vanishing point. So I'm going to say that is a VP, okay? And uh, so for example, if you want to draw a cube, okay? You are going to draw something like this. So it will be something like here. These two lines will be parallel with each other, okay? And these two lines, will be parallel with each, with each other. So basically you are drawing a square and uh, this square is at a specific surface that is facing towards you, okay? And um, so if you're drawing, uh, let me just name this, okay? So it's just a, like the face one, face one that you are drawing, right? But, but the face two, say something like this, okay? The face two, like the, very, very back of this cube, you're not going to draw this way, okay? Or no, you're not going to draw this uh, like a downward way and or the parallel. What you're going to do is to connect in the dots. So basically here you will need a ruler. So if you don't have a ruler, right now I have a uh, another <laughs> another pen, pencil, uh, pen or pencil, I don't know. Uh, so you can use this as a reference, okay? Uh, did you guys see the vanishing point? So no, so maybe I'm going to like zoom it a little bit so you guys can see the value point. Yep. Yeah. Uh, let me just look at everything else a little bit. So you guys can see the vanish point. Yeah. Okay, so uh yeah, maybe yeah, yeah. So this is the vanish point, all right? And uh what I, what I'm gonna do is to find this up uh, uh find this so what you're gonna do is to find this a uh, four points, okay? So one, two, three, four, okay? And in one point um, perspective, you know, uh, you're going to like vanish all um, the line all the way to here. And I'm not going to add a lot of pressure to this. Uh, so uh, okay, later, you know, uh, uh, this is like like a ghost thing, okay? So just uh, you know, draw a reference line, okay? With these two connecting the dots, okay? This is approximately the match point here. And I think I uh, I need to use something like longer because yeah, you know, maybe maybe this can do. It's like a, some uh, book cover, okay? So. So maybe the vanish point will be here. Okay, let me change it a little bit. Okay, and uh, this too is a little bit tricky, uh, but not undoable. 
So basically, if you're using ruler, you sort of uh, need to go down a little bit. So you have to consider the uh, the the width of the uh, uh, of the line that you are drawing. Okay, and this point and this point, we can also just connect these two points together. Okay, just connecting two points together. Okay, once you have done that, it's just that everything become really easy. Okay, you just draw parallel line. But uh, you have to connect the power line on this uh, line that connects to the point and the vanishing point. Okay, so let me show you. So that really depends on the uh, the size of your uh, like uh, like the, the shape. Okay, that you want to draw. So for example, I like a sort of a really long shape. Okay, like a like a container sort of thing. Okay, you 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 can, you can leave it here, and of course you want a really like narrow sort of a container. You can you, you, you can go this way, but right now let's just uh, randomly choose whatever. Okay, maybe maybe something like this. Okay, so then you draw a one line. This is just like solving a mathematical problem. Okay, so you do this, and the crossing point will be one and two. Okay, so this two crossing point. You just need to be extremely careful about this. And then you can connect in the rest, just, uh, you know, uh, connecting these two lines and uh, just make it, make it really, really um, standing out rather than this like a ghost line or reference ghost line, okay? And of course, uh, I think I can use this method to bring this shape a little bit more outstanding. Okay, these two. And this too as well. So let's just redo that. And of course, you can do this without a ruler. You know, I don't have a ruler right now, so I just uh, make do with this uh, like book cover. Okay, as long as it's, it's, it's a decent long enough, and it's uh, it's straight. It's uh, it got the hardness, so it will not too soft. You can use that. Okay, so yeah. So I got this something like this, okay, and this two line, and uh, yeah, oh, of course, normally you, you don't need to draw a really big dot. I just draw this so you guys can, can see it clearly, right? And then you're just connecting this two as well. So this two line is parallel with each, with each other, and these two dots will be connected, okay? And Yeah, reconnecting like this, all right? And then what about this line? This line should be parallel with, with this, but with different different um, width or height, depending on the uh, angle that you want to draw, okay? So uh, you, you won't see. So this and par parallel to here, and then you find the crossing, okay? You just find the crossing here, so just, uh, Draw a dot, and then these two, right? These two, you just connect these two. All right, so you can get something like this. So it can be, uh, I don't know, maybe a triangle, maybe a container, something like that, and uh, or maybe a skyscraper. But normally, uh, you know, if I drawing skyscrapers from a, like a bird side point, point of view, I might use one vanishing point. You know, you have multiple like a skyscraper and then vanishing at one line here. Uh, you draw at the center of it, maybe a um, Arasaka Tower or something like that. Some fantasy cyberpunk, you know, you know, um, you know illustrations. You might do something like that. But uh, normally I, I use the, like a three point of view, uh, three vanish point. Okay, so not point of view, three vanish point to do that because that will give you really drastic you know, layout. Uh, so that's what I learned recently, okay? So now this is just a demonstration for the one vanishing point, okay? And of course, uh, this can change, okay? This can change. If you want it not so, like a so long uh, shape, you can you can do something like this, just to make it like a short in this, like a cut it, like a loop cut it here, okay? Just a loop cut it here and make a parallel like this. 
Okay, so it's just that, you know, you just ignore this and this will be shorter. Uh, let me just uh, make some shadowy part so you guys can see. Okay, so this will be our new, sh new shape. Okay, and if you think about this, you can even use a ruler to actually, you know, um, to, uh, to, to, to calculate that. Uh, uh, so you, you guys can see these two lines are parallel, these two lines are parallel, uh, but this two line is not parallel. So if you, you're doing something like a parallel, uh, it's like a, like a drawing from textbook, it's like orthodox point of view. It's good for design, but uh, it's very bad for this uh, final drawing. Uh, because uh, that's then so unnatural, okay? And this two is not parallel, so this two will, um, in fact, it's not not only not parallel, but we will, will cross at, at, at a very, you know, um, far away point. So they, they will all cross at a Spanish point, okay? That's, um, that's one point uh, perspective, okay? And uh, in next video, I'm going to show you how to draw this uh, like two point perspective. So I think, yeah, it's kind of become harder and harder and harder, okay? So, yeah, uh, that's what I have in mind, okay? See you in the next video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumb up, all right?